it's not even moving. So, yeah, a new tensioner, you know, just brings new life into an old car. All right, here we go. Um, 2010 Hyundai Sonata 2.4, four cylinder. We're gonna change the serpentine belt, and we might, while we're at it, might as well go ahead and change the tensioner, um, just for good measure. Uh, okay, so there, you see this one, and the one right past it. That is the tensioner pulley, and that's just a, I guess a pulley. 15 millimeter, 17 millimeter, and then we have to make sure we don't lose track of how this serpentine belt goes around. So you can see, I'm gonna definitely get a diagram of it and so that we can use it later. All right, so let's go ahead and just begin. I'm gonna try to take the serpentine belt off. All right, I'm gonna try to do this with my phone. So basically I hooked up a 17 millimeter to the tensioner, right? And then I just use this um, other wrench to give me leverage and now I'm gonna try to steady the phone let's go 0.5 and then I'm just gonna put the phone right here and you can see that I'm gonna pull all the way and you can see that the belt the tension is off and then I'm just gonna try to work it around the power steering, I believe. All right, probably. There you go. All right. So now I can let the tension go. Okay, and it's still attached. I mean, it still has tension in there, so it's gonna press down on the hose there, so. Let me, well, I'll just let it go for now. Okay, so. It still has some tension, it's still pressing down on here, it doesn't wanna totally let it go, and we are going to go ahead and remove this and that'll give you some room in there. I believe that's a 15 millimeter. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, except that is not gonna be the case on the pulley. I need a little bit more. Um, it might be righty tighty. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Okay, so it's definitely righty tighty lefty loosey for this one, but I bet you that's not the case for the other one. But and in any case, this will make some room. And that's where these come in handy. They're like little ratchet. And this is, you know, it's, if you're going to change the serpentine belt, this might, you're in here already, so you might as well go ahead and do that, so. All right, enough room for it to come out. This one, I don't hear any, I mean, you really can't hear them, right, because it's going so fast. Oh, I do hear. Yeah, might be, you know. I'm just gonna change it anyway. All right, now we're in that territory where we got tension, okay? And you can still see that the, the, the wrench is still here and it's got a little bit of tension. So let's figure out which way that goes. Okay, I used a crowbar just to give it a little bit of, to get that tension off so I can get my 17 millimeter out of there. So let's take the serpentine belt, rest of it off, so that we can have a real good look at it. I'm just gonna push the serpentine down there. All right, so there it is. So that's definitely a 17 millimeter. And 
I have a suspicious feeling that it's going to be the opposite of righty tighty, lefty loosey, but I'll find out. So I'm just getting that 17 on there, and we're going to. It is tight. All right, sure enough, it is righty, not tidy, lefty, I guess not loosey. And that's because it's spinning this way, so um, they want it to tighten up. It won't get loose. So 17 millimeter, maybe not the best choice, but eh, got the job done. I'm just, let me try a different one here. Yeah, maybe that was the right choice. In any case, it's coming out. So let's keep working that. And uh, should come right out. All right, I just finally got the bolt off. It's very awkward. I had to get in, and I might, uh, I might drop it. Yeah, something fell. I think it was up. Oh. I got both of those things stuck. So you probably will need a magnet to be able to get the bolt off. All right, it looks like, oh, it must have been a washer. It fell off the other side. All right, look, here comes a, oh, here comes a pulley. All right, okay, let's take a deeper look here. Oh, let's see what else needs to come off. All right, I've been trying to get a wrench in there for a while, and, uh, you know what? I had to use a low profile. Let's see. Counterclockwise this time. I had to use my low profile. And there it goes. Let me bring that up here so you can see what I'm working with. Because I tried to get... I tried to... Okay. So this is what I'm working with. Ooh, sorry for all the phone action here. It's my little mini profile 3 8 uh, onto a 17 millimeter. Got it in there. And that was the only way I could uh, loosen it up. I tried, um, you know, I tried my 17 that looks like this. I tried my, well, actually I think it's, oh, here it is. My 17 that looked like this. So, little hint. Little, little prof, low profile. I love this one with a 17 millimeter. And I was in there and need a little bit of leverage, right? And that's where I have my homemade little pipe. So just a hint. All right. Now, um, now that it's loosened up, I should just be able to get uh, this tight. So I'm going to get this guy in there again and just loosen it up. All right. Finally loosened it up. And let's see if I can again. Nope. All right, so we're gonna fish it out to the front. All right, so there it is. There's that 17 millimeter. And you can see the tension. It has that little notch. Let me point out that notch, that notch. So that goes in and then you see that, that's the this amount of tension. So let's go get these. This guy goes here. And then here's another pulley. Ah, let's not get these mixed up. The 15 millimeter, that was at the top, right? And the 17 millimeter was down here. So, yeah. 17, these both are 17 millimeters and the top one was 15 millimeters. All right, let's go to the auto store and get a tensioner pulley and I guess the pulleys. All right, so here's the old one. 
and I'm putting in the new one uh, there it is and uh, just gotta make sure that it sits in there right and then it's just time to tighten it up all right just a reminder a little uh, 3 8 I believe uh, with a 17, this really helped because you just put it in there and get a little 3 8 inch, uh, half inch pipe, whatever this is. What is this? Uh, you know, just something to fit and then just gave it a good, good and tight and it's in. So, I at first I was using all these. You know what? This makes the job a whole lot easier. So, I would definitely recommend that. So, let's keep going now. Get uh, the pulleys in. All right. And then my bolt. And this is the tricky one, right? This is the one that's uh, lefty, tidy, righty, loosey. All right, here's kind of a weird setup. Um, trying to tighten it. And uh, lefty, tighten right 15 millimeter this on the, this new one I have to put a crowbar in there to hold it down and then tighten it up so um, while that is basically get it nice and tight okay so you can have to use a little leverage there okay then we're um, finishing up the pulley and now the hard part right putting the serpentine belt in <laughs> we're gonna definitely have to get a diagram of that because I gotta hold it onto it. There it goes. Um, we're gonna have to definitely get a diagram because those you can never figure it out. So we'll look online, find a diagram, and uh, I'm gonna tighten this down. I'd say you know, 40, 50 foot pounds is probably way more than enough. But I can't get a torque wrench in there really. So anyway, just feeling it nice and tight, right? All right, uh, let's go look at that serpentine. Oh, here we go, nice and tight. A little bit more. There you go. All right, let's go look at the, how the serpentine goes on there. All right, might have to lift the car up. So let's get back here, because you see, uh, there's the belt. It's being hung up. And that pulley, which is the, what does that look like, the air conditioner? Okay, so, got it out from the back, so now I should be able to pull it from the bottom. Might be easier to lift the whole thing up. Okay, now I'm at the bottom, and I'm, there, there it comes. Again, I'll probably lift it up to get more room. Um, Cause it, this diagram must be crazy. This thing is a long serpentine belt. So let's go check out that diagram now. All right, I got the serpentine belts here and just compare, always compare them, right? Otherwise you might come up short and try to figure out why. All right, now you talk about complicated. Okay, so I was down here and that's where I got stuck. Or maybe it was here. Actually, it was there. I'm definitely going to have to lift uh, lift it up. And uh, basically, that's the tensioner. That's what we... This one we took off this pulley. So it's just going to come down through there. And then this is where I originally took it off, as you remember. But uh, anyway, I went to Hyundai Forums and just downloaded a diagram. And let's try to see if we can put it back. That's a pretty good puzzle there. All right, uh, finally got it on. I ripped up uh, this insulation pretty bad, so put a little duct tape on it. But uh, here's how I had to do it in the end. I had to put this 17 millimeter in there, and it barely fits right between the wall. But I, you got it in there, and it, you know, and then basically moved it all the way from here to here. So not exactly 90 not exact about 45 degrees right the angle 
which meant I had to start way down here. I removed this line. I had to start right down here and then move it all the way up. It took two people, and so we had it held straight up over here. And then at the end, I put, it got about right here, and then I had to use a trusty screwdriver to get it all the way around um, because it that was this tensioner is really, really tight. The belt is brand new, so it's tight. It it took a while to get on there. So anyway, um, that's it. Uh, let's start her up and see how uh, she sounds. So it has 200,000 miles on the on it and that it's not even moving. So yeah, a new tensioner, you know, just brings new life into an old car. So I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that uh, gives you some hints as to changing the tensioner and the serpentine belt. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, uh, and every little bit helps, and have a great rest of your day.